Tonight, a fact finder investigation continues. Stopped trains, the frustration, safety concerns, as we reported last night, and we heard from you after that report. Trains stopping in Wichita, sometimes for hours, trapping drivers, but Wichita is not alone. Fact finder investigator Brandon Stitt traveled to Pratt, where they too battle with blocked crossings. It is a, an inconvenience, but more importantly, it's a safety issue. Pratt's mayor Zach Deeds sees a lot of traffic rolling over railroad crossings on US 281 on the north side of Pratt. I just had the latest numbers ran for um, vehicles through our town and it's close to 10,000 a day. And all too frequently that traffic comes to a stop for a stopped train. It doesn't take a wild imagination to know that that creates a tremendous issue if we have a train stop at the intersection of the highway. A scenario the mayor has been caught in himself. I've participated in a 45 minute wait. I've heard up to an hour, to hour and 15 minutes. The railroad crossing here at Maine and Maple and Pratt is clear right now, but many times it's not, leaving police officers and other first responders scrambling to find a way around a stopped train. We get to one of those intersections have to drive down to the next one because that one's blocked, drive down to the next one. And there's be, even been instances where we had to go a mile outside of town and come back into the city just to respond to a call. Chief Humble says last year they saw an increase in calls about stopped trains. There was over 20 calls for that specific thing. Something local, state, and even the federal government can do nothing about. And then the question is, is who do we call? U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg spoke with our national team about this issue. He too is frustrated. Well, it's always frustrating when you see behavior by a company and you're a regulator and you can't just grab them by the collar and say, stop it. In Pratt, Brandon Stitt, 12 News. Last year, a Senate bill called the Railway Safety Act of 2023 was introduced that would give the Transportation Department more power when it comes to these blocked crossings, but so far, the bill has not passed.